The terrorist, who drove into a crowd in New York City, gained entry into the U.S. through the Diversity Visa Lottery Program. The little-known program randomly awards some 50,000 green cards to immigrants from areas that historically do not migrate to the U.S. Essentially, it aims to increase the diversity of immigrants. It was created back in 1990 to make it easier for Irish immigrants to come to America, but has extended far beyond its original intent. Now, this fully functioning program relies on a computer to randomly select tens of thousands of people from millions of applicants that apply annually. Although it only accounts for 5% of legal immigration, critics argue that the program does nothing to serve the interests of the American people and can actually be a national security risk as seen in New York. President Donald Trump announced his renewed efforts to seize the diversity program in wake of the attack. I am today starting the process of terminating the diversity lottery program. I'm going to ask Congress to immediately initiate work to get rid of this program. Robert Rector, a senior fellow at the Heritage Foundation, says he does not know of any other country that does immigration this way, and likely for a good reason. 1.1 million foreigners have immigrated to the U.S. through the program, according to the State Department. The diversity visa program also does not consider an immigrant's education, job skills, or personal wealth. And a 2011 Tufts University study reported lottery winners are less likely to have a job than legal permanent residents. Critics say this is likely because they lack modern-day skills. In 2016, several thousands of accepted applicants emerged from countries like Nepal, Egypt, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Iran, and of course, Uzbekistan, the home of the New York City terrorist.